Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to install Python modules uh, from Git, uh, which you might need to do if, uh, for example, a library has not made a release and you want to use unreleased features that are on um, on the Git a Git repository. Uh, I'm going to show you both how to install a particular commit as well as how to install the most updated version. Uh, and let's jump into that. Uh, so before we get started, I'm going to set up a virtual environment, and that's just what we're going to be installing things into. So normally, uh, you would just install a package like, say, AST Pretty, for example. You would just run pip install that, and that would work fine. But let's assume that for whatever reason, AST Pretty has an unreleased version. It does not, because I'm usually really good about releasing packages as soon as they have new features. Um, but for the sake of discussion, let's assume it has unreleased changes on its main branch. So what you can do is you can take the git URL. Um, I'm just going to take the HTTPS URL. That's the easiest one to do. I will show you in a bit how to do the SSH URL. It's actually a little bit weird, um, but we'll get to that in a second. So to install from Git, you do pip install git plus and then the clone URL. So in this case, https github.com slash slash pretty. And this by default will install the latest version from the primary branch of that Git repository. So if we run this, you can see it actually tells you here that it ran um, some git clone stuff. Uh, oh, in fact, here's the git clone command. Um, and so you can kind of follow what it, what it does behind the scenes. Um, let's uninstall again. So that's how you install the latest version. If you want to install a particular revision or branch, you use the at sign and then the revision after it. So if we look at commits, for example, and let's say that I wanted to install, I don't know, this, this version here. Um, so we go back to our pip install command and I put an at sign here and then the revision after it. This can either be a git hash or it can be a branch name or a tag or anything that Git really understands. Um, so you can see a few more commands that it ran here. Um, yeah, so you can see it ran git clone, then it tried to run git rev parse to try and figure out whether this is a SHA or not. Since it was, it was then able to, I don't know why it refetched here, but anyway, <laughs> pip is, I guess, doing something Range there. But anyway, it checks out that version and then it installs that particular version. So that's how you can pick a very specific version to install. So maybe, you know, maybe you don't want the very latest branch, or maybe you have a feature branch where you're trying to test something out. And so you can install that particular feature branch. Now, so far we've only shown HTTPS installations and, you know, maybe this is a private repository and HTTPS isn't going to cut it. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't want to type passwords or whatever. Uh, so you can instead do SSH based installations, but the URL is a little bit weird. So let me show you what a git clone with SSH looks like first. So you do git at github.com, git help, <laughs> and then you do a colon, uh, and then the, you know, repository name. So, you know, at, and then a colon. Now this doesn't work for pip install for whatever reason, uh, unless they've fixed it since it since then. Uh, it's, that's entirely possible. Uh, let's see, git at github.com, acetilly, ast pretty. Yeah, they have not, they have not fixed it. This doesn't work. Um, it looks like a path for whatever reason. Git detects this as a path, uh, or pip, pip detects this as a path. So this doesn't work, uh, but you can fix it by doing git plus ssh colon slash slash and then this as normal, git at github.com. However, instead of a colon, you have to use a slash. And I don't know why this is, but yeah, that's that's how you do it. And I don't know, it took me a long took me a long time to figure this out. So hopefully this is useful to you as well. And you can see that it, you know, ran git clone with this. <clears throat> but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.